Hello and welcome to the M7 Innovation Brief. I'm your host, Matt Marn. You know the deal, Media Tech Innovation, 90 seconds, let's do it. Amazon reviews are getting an upgrade. The company announced that it'll make use of generative AI for product reviews. The program will scrape verified Amazon product reviews and output a concise, uniform description of each product. There are also different toggles like performance, ease of use, and stability that users can include in that summary. This is the type of AI that is truly useful, a thin layer scraping a vast verified data set to provide an informed, concise, and actionable output for the consumer. Amazon also wins because Andy Jassy will go into their next earnings call with generative AI tattooed on his bicep and Wall Street will love it. Roblox goes to the Met. In a new partnership between the Metropolitan Museum of Art and Roblox, museum goers can claim digital works of art. Here's how it works. A user scans an item at the Met in an AR app called Replica. They then get a code to redeem that item's digital counterpart, or replica, in Roblox. I love this one because it creates a very real, tangible link between physical art and history and digital expression. You can scan Medusa's hair or a pharaoh's mask and then wear it in the game. Users can also explore the Met's Roblox world inside the game, fittingly called the Met Replica. This is fun, interactive, educational, and expressive. Let's talk AI and TikTok. TikTok will introduce a toggle to mark whether or not your video content is AI generated. Putting this power in the hands of users is odd and necessary because you can very much create a piece of AI generated content then just lie and don't toggle this button. Zooming out, this is what happens when a platform gets so big they can't handle content moderation themselves. Back in the napkin math, data shows over 1 billion TikTok videos are viewed every day. Even if TikTok's internal flagging system had 99% accuracy, which would be high, that still means 10 million synthetic, harmful, or fake videos could slip through the cracks daily. This is why TikTok wants you to toggle that button and help them. Well, that's all the time that we have for the M7 Innovation Brief. Thank you for watching. Stay safe, and I'll see you next week.